Now, Africa's top sportsmen and women continue to show their athletic prowess at the Paris Olympics. While well, week one of the Games is wrapping up this Friday, let's cross over to speak to Belelo Thinta in Johannesburg. He's a sports journalist. It's great to see you again, Belelo. So swimming is wrapping up now and ath athletics is getting underway. But there's been a bit of controversy, hasn't there? Because Nigerian athletes favour Ofuli uh, didn't get to run in today's 100-metre sprint heats. Quite right. The 21-year-old Dynamo, who is Nigeria's 100-meter uh, champion, was uh, knocked out by poor, poor, poor bureaucracy on her country's part. The NOC, uh, the Nigerian Olympic Committee, failed to register her in time. Now, keep in mind, the disappointment is doubled and amplified because in Tokyo, it was the very same story because uh, the Nigerian NOC uh, didn't allow the athletes to test in time to meet the regulations of the IOC, the International Olympic Committee. So it is the second Olympics in a row where she hasn't been able to run. She's 21 years old, and she is arguably the biggest female star in America right now at Louisiana State University, which is a big, big problem because if you look in the NFL, there are big stars that will back their alumni, and this is a big problem for Nigeria and for Africa and the PR of what we're trying to do for our great athletes who work so hard to achieve the Olympic dream. A an absolute catastrophe. Yeah, it's, it's quite shocking that this has actually happened. And Belelo, is this just another example of bad governance in general when it comes to African athletes? I think there has been a sort of a rising tide of our, of our athletes, I speak on behalf of Africa, because um, from the Maghreb right down to the Sadiq region, athletes have been um, sort of migrating to the to the global north, not because they don't want to run for their uh, beloved nations, but rather because the incentives which they are given, uh, both financial and also, of course, these are... Uh, the most competitive human beings you may ever meet in the world is that they are looked after, developed, and then obviously taken to the peak of their performance, uh, whether it be in the Americas or indeed Europe. And it's it's absolutely heartbreaking to see a genuine gem and a star like this being treated like this. And it is perpetuating an age-old problem. You know, um, part of our problem that we've had as Africa, and I, I speak as a South African, but it's happened with many of the NOC, or sort of the OCs that have gone across. Is sometimes the delegations are actually better and bigger. Um, the bureaucratic um, guys, there's more of them than the actual athletes, which which is very very troubling. And now these rumblings arise again, an, an absolute catastrophe in what is supposed to be. Africa's time, right? When the athletics starts in week two, we know what time it is. Unfortunately, this has been marred uh, by this brilliant, brilliant young woman being denied a chance um, to, to participate. And I might add there that her PB of 1093 would have been enough to, to get her at least into the final. So we're not talking about somebody who would have just been there and nice to participate. We're talking about somebody who would have been in the final because remember, she's got a 10.93 um, personal best and she won in 11.06, of course, the African title earlier this year, the, the, the Nigerian title, excuse me. So she would have been in the final. That's an even bigger disaster because that's a medal opportunity for Nigeria. It's really a pity for favour of Philly there. Um, let's move on because the continent is losing one of its greatest swimmers of all time. Tatiana Smith has announced her retirement. At the ripe old age of 27, believe it or not, she has called it a day. It's, it might sound young, of course, uh, for you and I who walk around in the streets, but for um, a female swimmer in particular, the sports science has shown in around 28, 29, um, the women tend to retire. So this is, uh, and it has been her swan song. So we're talking about comfortably the greatest African swimmer of all time. But she's actually in another conversation for being the greatest breaststroke Olympic swimmer of all time because she is in very rarefied air along, um, along with uh, Kosuki Kadaji, who is the Japanese medalist, where they have four medals um, in terms of the breaststroke. Only those two women in the history of breaststroke have achieved that feat, uh, by the way, at the Olympics, men or women. So we're talking about the greatest breaststroke swimmer arguably of all time, wrapping things up. Uh, as a South African, uh, we couldn't be more proud of this gracious all-time champion, all-time Olympian in Tatiana Smith. And she leaves it behind now to, to, to the young Canadian um, Summer McIntosh, who seems to be the next flag bearer for swimming. To Tatiana, to her family, she can be extremely proud of what she's achieved. Yeah, she's definitely, the sport is definitely going to miss her, I have to say. Thank you so much, Belelo Tinta. He's a sports journalist in uh, Johannesburg. Thanks so much for that update and your insights.